everyone, Miss Joelle here for Tech Tip Tuesday. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to check out document history. Um, this can refer to who has seen your uh, document on Google, um, who has made edits to your document on Google, and things like that. So I'm going to start with um, seeing who has viewed your document. So what you're going to do is when you are on a doc, so this is my Tech Tip Tuesdays doc, I'm going to go to this little like arrow thing and that will show my activity. So what I can see here is I can see um, who's looked at my document and I can see like if there's any trends about like what times they've looked at my document and things like that. So there's two different sections. I can look at who this document is shared with and when the last time they viewed it was or I can go to all viewers and these are all the people who have clicked on my link and who have looked at my document and it'll tell me the date that they did so. So this can be really good data for me to see if people are using what I post. Um, so again, that is the um, little arrow here. Now, another thing that's really important is to be able to look at the edits that people and possibly yourself have made to a document so if i go to this last edit was 15 minutes ago i can click on that and that's going to open up what's called version history and version history is going to show me um, exactly when any changes to this document have been made. So what I can do is I can scroll down through here and I can see who's been on this document. So you can actually see I accidentally log in on my personal account and my um, school account. So you can see that there's two different colors for me. That would be why. Um, you can also see down here that Miss Tierney worked on this paper um, or this document, I should say. Um, so what I can do is I could go through and if I wanted to see Miss Tierney's edits, I would click on the specific edit that I am looking for. And I can scroll through until I find the spot where um, she made those edits. So they were down here at the bottom. And the cool part about this is um, you can kind of scroll through by minute by minute. And um, I sometimes in the past have used this, like if I thought a student copied and pasted something, um, you can tell that like, you know, oh, in 30 seconds, the student didn't type an entire page. So you can kind of flip back through the, um, the document edits here. You can also restore to any version. So like if somebody makes changes, so let's say my changes on March 9th, I wasn't happy with, and I wanted to go back to my March 2nd version, I can restore this version. This is also a really good thing to do if you've shared your document to let other people edit it, but then you want to go back to the original, you can just go back to the very first um, version and restore it. Um, I also want to show you what that looks like on Google Slides because you'll notice that on that document I had shared it with my personal email and with Miss Tierney, so I was able to see who made edits. But you're going to notice that in my Gender Justice Book Club, if I go into the edits, um, I gave students the um, editing access so that they could change some definitions um, and add anything they wanted to definitions that we were talking about. But you'll notice that it says all anonymous users. That is because I shared this through this share link. So I gave students this, anyone on the link can edit. I gave them that link. I didn't specifically share it with them. If I want them to be signed in, I'm going to have to specifically share it with their email addresses. And that way it'll show me exactly who made what changes. Um, one more thing I want to show you, and this is like a game changer. If you have ever seen this draft back um, for teachers who are, again, trying to make sure that students are doing their own work and not copying and pasting things from the internet, um, you can click this draft back, check out how cool this is. You start playing it and it will literally play at the, um, play out the exact like typing of this document. So you can tell that I'm like actually typing here and that I'm not copying and pasting big chunks. Um, you could do it at actual speed if you wanted to see like how fast I was actually going. Or again, you can do this fast forwarded version. Um, which is a really cool way to um, watch your students work and kind of see um, if they're being productive. So it's a little bit like creepy to spy on them, but if um, need be, that is available for you for whatever you may need it for. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, 
Again, um, you know where to find me if you have any questions. Have a great week.